Hello and welcome to the Fundy Fortunes. My name is Natalie. Um, I'm here this evening to do the general monthly reading. And yes, they're late. Go back to the video that was made a few days ago. It says we're back. That explains everything, where I've been and what's been going on. Anyways, I know it's late, but it's better late than never. There's still quite more, more of the month left of January than not. And for those of you that are new, these are general readings that may, may resonate with you, may not resonate with you. This is a five card spread. Your first card, your overall energy. Second card, wealth and finance. Third card, hearth, home and love. Fourth card, challenges for the month. And your fifth card is message from spirit. And I'm going to draw an extra card at the end, a mystery card. And to see uh, what the um, recurring theme will be for the year 2019 for you. For Aries. Did I say this is for Aries? I don't remember. This is for your sun sign, rising sign, and your moon sign. January 2019. I'm going to cut the deck. Lilith, as this deck stands in the top five cards, the cards that were meant for this public general reading for the sign of Aries. Are these the cards for the Aries general reading? Thank you, you may stop. Good enough for me. Good enough for me. All right, before I go any further, uh, burning my favorite, favorite scented candle tonight, Majestic Rose. These are 100% soy-based candles that have a good, clean 40-hour burn. They are double-wicked, and when the, the, they're made of soy wax, and when the wax melts down, you're left with beautiful gems, stones, crystals, caged stones, beautiful pendulums. I've got many, many, many trees of life. It goes on and on, and they're absolutely beautiful, and the reveal always seems to appropriately pick you for whatever you're going through at the time, wherever you find yourself. Go to intuitivecandles.com, use the promo code that is still running, um, BOFF10, it stands for Bay of Fundy Fortunes, and the number 10, that'll get you 10% off of your order. And I think it's all orders over $100, I think. Um, shipping's free, I think. Correct me on that. <laughs> anyway, go to intuitivecandles.com. All right, let's start. With your reading, let's start with laying out your five cards. All right, very first card, your overall energy for uh, Jan uh, January. Oh my, Ace of Pentacles, prosperity, your overall energy. You have no complaints. Card number two, wealth and finances. Oh my goodness, Ace of Cups love card number three hearth home family intimate love the king of the ocean order card number four your challenges is the six of swords calm your final card your message from spirit oh my goodness guys the wheel of fortune and destiny and now I'm going to another little shuffle and I'm going to not look at this card. It's going to be delivered face down and we'll look at it um, at the very end of the reading here. Okay, one more. One more. I haven't been able to shuffle all night here. I don't know what's going on. It's horrible. As long as they get mixed up, that's the main thing, I guess. I'm going to cut the deck. And place it over here. There we go. Out of the way. Hope I don't forget. Maybe I better move it right here. There. I won't forget about it. <laughs> and this is your spread for January 2019. 
All right, so your very first card, oh my goodness, your overall energy. Beautiful. Ace of Pentacles, all about prosperity. It's about abundance in all areas of your life, actually. It's a beautiful, beautiful card. This card shows extreme growth real quick. Rapid results in a positive way. <clears throat> somebody, remember this is a general reading, but somebody is about to receive some kind of reward or a gift of money that's coming at you very, very soon. Um, this is going to be enough money to buy you a bit of security for a little bit. I don't know, maybe you could pay your mortgage up for six months or ahead or, or something along those lines, but it's going to make a bit of a difference here. Um, or you could be given the opportunity, Aries, to make some money or to make more money at what you're already doing. There, there is opportunities. Um, you seem to be attracting them like a magnet. Your relationships are stable at this time. Um, on the financial end, again, um, we're looking at you making, um, financial investments, but also personal investments. And, um, some of you may be in the market for a brand new home, not brand new, but new to you. So that's something for you to think about or investing your, your, um, earnings into a piece of property. The advice of this card is to. Do what you can to make your money work for you, not you so much for your money. Um, make wise financial decisions at this time, especially long term, but stop and think, really think things through before you commit yourself to something. You're going to pick the right thing anyways, because this is your overall energy for the whole month. It's fantastic. Um, so your keywords are beginning, beginnings, money. A new job for some. Success is right across the board for an awful lot of you, and be it in big ways or small ways. Um, property. Somebody's buying property or they're investing in some kind of property, but you security is come is forthcoming um, and a lot of color adding a lot of color to your life. There's your overall energy. Second card we're looking at here is the Ace of Cups and love. Secret to the universe right there, right there. I tell you. This card shows you with an open heart and you're being told to trust. Um, Yeah, the trust of a child is what I'm hearing here for somebody. The trust of a child. Projects are going to be highlighted during the month as well. Um, that could be money-making ventures that you're investigating. Somebody is either thinking about or they are in the process of writing a book. This is a time for self-nurturing, doing things for yourself that bring you that joy, that bring you happiness things that make you feel good, such as your own personal projects. Sounds a good time or writing a book. That's something that's just you. It's a solitary thing. And um, some of you are getting into more uh, closer to home things. Uh, you know, home decor, you could be redecorating your home or upgrading, redesigning something to freshen your home up. Um, some of you in the warmer climates are looking at spring and uh, coming soon and you wanting to prepare for your garden. You're going to be focusing more on gardening and, and beautifying your home to the best of, that you can, but it will be good for you. It'll be fresh for you. It'll be a lift. Um, it's investment into yourself to be a better you on a daily basis. And where does it all begin? Right in our own home, right in the hearth of our lives, right in our own homes. Your keywords for this are um, new beginnings, beautiful stuff too. To be able to feel passion for the work that you do is a gift in itself, and some of you will. You'll be feeling very passionate about the work that you do, so it doesn't really, yes, it's hard work, and yes, the hours are long, and all that good stuff, but the thing being is that it's for you. You don't mind putting the time in. You don't really feel like you go to work because you enjoy what it is you do. Even if it tires you out, you love every minute of it. 
there could be a pregnancy um, showing for somebody very soon and through the month of January as well. Most people are going to be feeling a sense of fulfillment. I just heard those are the people that take the bull by the horns and they take action on their own. They don't wait for circumstances to bring it to them or fate to bring it to them. They're taking charge and going right after what they want. They're, you guys are the happiest people, the most contented, the most fulfilled. Intense emotions, um, intensity overall with this card when it shows up, emotional, emotional uh, ten, uh, intensity, tears of joy is what I'm hearing, tears of happiness, your heart swelling, full, a lot of love, and all that kind of good stuff. Could be future love in the uh, cards for somebody as well before the month of January is over. So if you're looking, or maybe if you're not, is not usually what they say happens when you're not looking and all of a sudden there you are you're just drawn to somebody and they're drawn to you it's a mutual thing it's a beautiful thing and it's a really good way for somebody out there to start their year really really good that's a real good start to the year your third card we're looking at here is hearth and home family this sort of a thing we got the king of the ocean he's all about order I like him he brings stability he brings order to your life. By the time he's done, everything's working like clockwork. It's it's like a well-oiled machine, be it your job, your home, your relationships, everything. There's there's no missing a beat. Everything is turning so smoothly. Wonderful for you, Aries. Things without much effort are coming to fruition in front of you and you're saying I didn't even have to really try and I thought that was going to be quite the challenge wow if anything Aries now is a good time to um, maybe start thinking about doing some manifesting now would be the time for you where things are coming so easily but he brings in order after some kind of chaos um, usually when things have been upset or messed up um, and he restores balance. S uh, setting boundaries for yourself as well. You'll learn how to set boundaries for your own self towards other people, even boundaries just for you, that you won't cross your own rules, you won't cross your own line. Um, he also brings an end to disputes. If this is somebody you actually know, this, this is, of course is an, an, an elder person, um, he's very wise. He's very proud. He's, uh, he's a getting down to business kind of guy and he makes no apologies for it. Something needs to be done, needs to be done. If there's a mess, it needs to be cleaned. He'll come in and straighten and order, order things up. But I'm feeling more than anything, it's an energy is what I'm feeling for your, your private and your home life. There's an energy here. You're getting your, you're getting your house in order, which means your life as well. You're getting things in order. So in the bigger picture, everything is going to be better balanced. Um, trying to stay one step ahead of the new things that are coming up for you in January or into 2019 as well. Um, Save time now, save time later. Um, spend your time now. Put in the little bit of extra off in order to save time down the road and later on because it will need, it will come in handy. Being one step ahead, having things already taken care of that you can pre-anticipate, right? That's not even a word, pre-anticipate. It's kind of like a double positive, isn't it? <laughs> um, do you know what I mean? A little more peace in your life as well if there have been disputes if you've had a dispute with somebody falling out anything like that that's going to be taken care of it's going to be resolved there will be an end to any conflict like that that's going on around you um, the advice of this card is for you to now is for you to get to work on your finances because that does affect your home um, get your home in order Protect your assets, insurance, just be conscious of your home, your car, these kind of things. Don't leave them vulnerable to attack.
wisdom and focus as well, knowing where to put your attention where you will reap the most um, benefits from things. I'm hearing for some of you. Don't do anything half-assed. Now's not the time to do that. Go the full length. Even if you think it's going to slow you down and make you late for something, it'll be fine. Do the right thing the first time because it's going to save you a lot of grief down the road. You're going to be better prepared than you think you are. For whatever your goal is, your target is, get prepared. Do what you can do now. Keywords are organization, authority, leadership, and boundaries. This is building a good foundation for your home life overall. Very solid, strong foundation, but with room to grow, of course. Card number four is the challenges you might have or what you thought were going to be a challenge. You thought something was continuing on that was a challenge. But this card is all about calm and it's a six. It's all about harmony in your life and balance. Everything being given the uh, the sweet kiss, right? Everything in your life seems that you guys have a, a phenomenal, phenomenal reading here. When this card shows up, he's almost like the king of the ocean. There's a sense of order that's going to take place, especially um, if chaos has ruled in some capacity in your life recently. When this card comes in, this is time for calmer waters or even trips over water. Um, moving on in positive ways, saying, okay, that's done now. Leave it where it is. It is what it is. Can't change it. Let's accept. Let's look forward. Let's move on. Um, and that's what the six is here to do is to help you find a harmony and um, a balance in your life. There's some really, really... Um, Good stuff on the horizon for some of you. Making changes when you come into this new this this, this brand new thing on, on, on the horizon for you. It's a very positive thing. You start making a priority list of the important things that are important to you. It's now easier for you to walk away people walk away from people, places or things that are no longer serving any positive purpose in your life. You're going to find that transition a lot smoother than what you thought. If something isn't serving you, now's the time to start getting more choosy in particular about where you put your focus, your time and your energy in every day. You're going to be improving your own life that way. It's a wonderful thing. It really is. You're going to be feeling lighter for it, just on a daily basis, feeling like, yeah, this feels good to be in control of myself and my own life. And that's how you're going to be feeling really empowered um, and realizing just how in charge you are of the circumstances into your life. Some things we can't stop, some things we can't head off because we don't see coming. Um, but overall, the everyday of things, you're going to be, your, your life is just going to smooth out. It's just... And I don't know for how long, but for a while, things are going to be very balanced, very smooth, almost to the point of boring. <laughs> your life will be so calm, almost to the point of boring. And maybe some of you need boring in your life. Be open to change and go with the flow. That is your advice from this card. And accepting that challenge of being open to change. It's not easy for everybody. We don't all like change or look forward. Like an old cancer like me, I, I like things familiar. You know, um, I like things predictable, I guess. But you're to go with the flow. Whatever comes with you, ride the wave. Ride the surf. Keywords are journeys. Moving on. Immigration. Safe haven. Safe haven. Peace. Relaxation. And feeling very, very protected in your life. It's a beautiful card for you. Your last card, your message from spirit. Could it be any better? Does it get any better than this? The Wheel of Fortune and Destiny. 
What a great card. When this card shows up, Aries, and you know, it's like this reading's ending almost the way it started, because look what it started with, right? And now it's ending here. Um, following your destiny, finding your destiny, being discovered by your destiny. Um, this card <coughs> brings a boost to your life right across the board. For any area you wish to put a boost into, you just basically wish it now. Say, let it be so. You're being led to your destiny, so a flag goes up and says, don't get in the way of it. Sometimes things are what they are. Don't read into them and just follow what's going on. Again, go with the flow. Hope and luck. You're going to be feeling a lot of that. There's a sense of, um, there's a sense of, um, real contentment for some of you. Finally feeling that, you feel fulfilled. You don't feel like you're, you're suffering. I mean, it's good to yearn for things that shows growth, right? To pine for something, to wish for something, to want something. It shows you're alive and growth. But there's something a lot to be said about feeling very fulfilled and contented with your life as well. Just remain open. Because um, some people say, well, I could put a period right here on this part of my life and be done and have nothing else happen and I'd be fulfilled and content right where I am right now. But that you're still alive. You still have a beating heart, blood rushing through your veins. You still have emotions. Um, and you got to continue to grow. And you couldn't stop that if you wanted to. You just end up in a flummox, really. You'd mess everything up. Go with the flow. Accept the way things are. Use your logic. Use your integrity. And use your intelligence. Speaking of uh, such things, your intuition is going to be high during the month of January as well. And you're growing in spirituality a little bit closer, a little stronger, and a little deeper. More belief and trust in the universe. Gratitude is going to be um, a, a large, high vibration coming from you to the universe as well. Again, go with the flow. And sometimes, especially people that are mainly givers, but sometimes um, receiving is just as important for you as it is your giving. So don't leave yourself open. To the gifts from the universe. Don't don't block them. Your keywords are fate and luck, the unexpected, movement, change, crossroads, decisions, and clairvoyance. All right, now we are going to pull our mystery card. Nice. Really nice. You got the King of Pentacles and trust. This will probably be a reoccurring theme through 2019 for you, Aries. Ooh. There's being blunt and direct, but well, a message comes through. I have to patch it through. It's not for everybody. But some of you don't trust other people because you yourself can't be trusted. And you know that that's one thing about you. You know you admit it to yourself. I'm not a trustworthy person. Tell me to keep a secret and within half a day I'd be shooting your mouth off all over the place. Tell me and, and you were to be trusted. Um, some of you Aries are dragons and you will claw your way to get ahead. And sometimes that calls in for some maybe... Some people might say your integrity could be in question. Um, in the way of the business world, people grab opportunities all the time. It may not even always be admirable, but it's what gets them ahead. Um, that's all I'm passing on as far as that goes. That's for somebody out there. Um, so this card is finding you um, making a committed relationship with somebody, trusting in the stars and in the universe that you're doing the right thing and trusting more in the universe overall. Um, there's going to be growth there. 
you're going to be a lot more solid in that department come the end of 2019. You are also being quite protected by the universe as well. And in return, you do the, um, the domino effect. You pay it forward. And you do the same for somebody else. Money is highlighted. And success as well in uh, the money area. More success brings you more rewards. It's going to be a, a nice year for you. Um, you're starting out, finishing a lot, a lot more solid than you start with. You're a little on shaky ground, some of you, and, and trust is a problem for you. Especially trusting in something you can't visually see, such as in our universe. Look at the tree, it's the nearest tree you see. Look down at the ground, look at a rock. Look at the clouds. Feel the wind. You're one of them. And you trust them. The elements. Do you not? It's the same thing. It's just the way it is. Your trust will grow. You will learn to trust. Um, it could slow things down a bit a few times when you're going through issues like this. Not knowing whether to trust somebody in a deal. Trust somebody's words. Trust somebody's feelings. Trust somebody's actions. Questioning, or, you know what? You must get exhausted. If that's how you think and feel. Always reading into things. Don't do that. This is not for everybody. Okay? It's not going to resonate with everybody. But that's the whole, the whole thing with this card. And it all revolves around trust for 2019. So maybe now some trust issues will be... Um, you'll be able to take them over and work your way through them and have some healing. So there you go, Aries. That was your reading for January, what's left of the month anyway, and a little peek into 2019 for you. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for your support in 2018 as well. <clears throat> um, please join us on Facebook if you're not a Facebook hater. And um, it is a closed group and a private group, Bay of Fundy Fortunes. And it's a really nice place to be. Also, um, if you're looking uh, for a personal private reading from me, check down below this video window. Read through once, ship me off an email, and I'll get you taken care of. And anybody else, if you're ever looking for me and you don't find me here in Bay of Fundy Fortunes, you can find me usually walking down below at the cove, along the water's edge, up the beach and down the beach, watching the highest tides in the world roll into my backyard, basically. Um, go ahead and Google it. Bay of Fundy. Bay of fun day. Anyways, no matter where you find me, I always have one eye waiting for the next tide. I love the high tides and I love the low tides as well, just as equally. Um, just like life, we have highs, we have lows. All a metaphor. Keep the peace in so you can share that light and that love out. And I hope to see you back real soon. Goodbye for now.